couldn't tell if I heard the faint noises of the red team from backstage. Shrinking violent children are. Yeah, the quiet, unassuming red team. <laughs> but the whispered memories. never actually ends, it's like an eternal flame, but there's always yeah. someone that has to at least... That's great! I, they have a whole system worked out where one of them, uh, like, takes a ten-minute shift. Really, 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 really. <laughs> Take it! Right, two, right, two. And one person who's real good at doing it in their sleep. So they come to the 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. shift. How Australians? <laughs> oh, right, we have Australians. That's right, we got people in all time zones. <laughs> I uh, I ran into a, a, a sea monkey on the uh, elevator yesterday, pretty late at night, who was Australian, and her they, they were asking me about was uh, asking me about Australian curse words, and I asked for one, and they gave me, uh, well, we don't need to fuck spiders. <laughs> Which is not my new favorite phrase. What, is that, what does that mean? It means, like, let's get this shit going. We're not here to fuck spiders. Let's get it in here. <laughs> do the job we came to do and not strange. fuck spiders. Is, is, that, is, that, is that the default idling activity? Yeah, 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 fuck, fuck, spider, fuck, fucking spiders in the leisure time activity. Um, I came here to do two things. <laughs> Shoot the only fucks. Had a fall out of spiders. <laughs> Team, uh, try though we might to battle against the uh, the cruel, cruel master that is uh, Father Time. We are at the last show. Oh. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're unlucky, lucky, I don't know how to characterize it. Yin and Yang. Let's not we talk about it at all. Let's not dwell. Um, we're. We're at the last show, which means it is the last time that I get to say this year, Good morning, students! Good morning, Principal Soren! It's time for morning announcements. We do not have too many. To reiterate an earlier actual morning announcement from today, uh, if you have decor on your door or the walls near your door, is that a discovery we made this year that the walls are also slightly magnetic? Yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna, that's not gonna get you abused next year at all. Uh, if you have decor on your door, around your door, or, or if you see decor around the ship, besides the decor we put up, but just like, you know, googly eyes and post-it notes and such, please give the ship's housekeeping staff a hand in taking that down. While it is, of course, their job to clean up the ship, they are not usually staffed to sweep the entire ship for googly eyes. <laughs> They're also still traumatized from, from the Guar cruise, yeah. so please take it down. It's a bad scene. Uh, if you still, at this point, have a game library game that you that was loaned to you that you have not returned, shame upon you. Ooh, there's nothing quite like Red Team. Oh, look, everybody, it's true! Oh, okay. <laughs> Drew, Drew gets shuttled around the ship that way all week long. I was trying to log Jeff into my Holland America Line uh, Navigator account. Uh, and I just got pulled away, literally, on that part. Uh, where was it? Yes. Um, so, again, if you have a game library game, with it, do you know offhand if there are any uh, outstanding game library games? I'm happy to report that the game library is en route to Ajax. Yay! Then I can uh, cross that one off my list. Uh, if you all of you should have gotten a disembarkation package in your staterooms. Uh, if you are having the ship take your luggage off for you, remember that needs to be outside your stateroom by midnight tonight. Yeah, I don't know. Um, was it cut off? Also, you would have, you should have received colored and numbered tags for your bags. Your color and your number indicate your disembarkation time, just so we don't have two thousand people scrambling for the gangway at once. They will. Uh, Holland America will be making announcements tomorrow morning, uh, calling for disembarkation by number and color. Um, so pay attention to that. And uh, that ends the morning announcements. Which takes us into this next section of the show. 
Uh, there are, as we've been saying all week, there are literally hundreds of people uh, working behind the scenes and out amongst you to make this cruise happen. Um, There's probably, yeah, Drew, good point, Drew said, oh, you know, with the ship's crew, there's probably over a thousand people working to make you happy for a week. Um, that's a pretty sweet ratio. Um, and we would like uh, to specifically recognize the entire uh, crew of the New Amsterdam. Uh, and on, their, on the crew's behalf, we would like uh, to bring out the, all of the department heads for you to thank. show. I know some of you may not think that he actually exists. You've heard him on the PA. Uh, he and our wonderful hotel director who has been so integral in moving all of these moving pieces all week and had some important business to attend to right before the show. We're so sorry for that. But on behalf of our captain and our hotel director, I'll echo those sentiments earlier. And we're just so, so thankful to have you all on board this week. You have been absolutely phenomenal. You have been a great group of guests and um, especially in these trying times, you have brought a light and energy to this vessel and we just, as a staff and crew, want to thank you um, and I hope that our crew has taken really good care of you this week. Thank you. We will make sure that they go back uh, during our announcement tomorrow and to represent all of those crew, we've got our department heads. I'd like to just quickly go down the line and recognize each one of them because they are such an important part of our team here on board. Um, we could not be feeding you and giving you all the drinks and everything you need without our food and beverage director right here, Messiah. Producing from shops and the spa and everything that's taking care of you this week. We've got Moira, who's our business and brand manager. <laughs> to help make sure all of your events function and working with your incredible tech team and this team, we've got our production manager, Charlie. <laughs> Making sure you're well fed in all the restaurants. We've got our restaurants. Restaurant Operations Manager, Maybell. And that's on behalf of the Dining Stewards as well, of course, who have been serving you all week. Um, also, our incredible stewards who have been taking care of you all week. This man, Gunter, is in charge of Executive Housekeeper. with this wonderful lady at guest services or an incredible staff. Uh, we have got Annie at guest services. <laughs> to reconcile all the cash flow going on, we've got our purser, Joni. <laughs> Help me make sure you're all connected, which is important for all of you with our Wi-Fi and internet. We have got uh, Zoran right here. Introduction with that hat, you all know him as our executive chef, Owen. <laughs> and keeping the drinks flowing, of course, 
Amy. <laughs> Did you get a gift, Zoran? <laughs> Zor Zoran got the box that contains the internet from the IT crowd. You're all well, uh, well drunken. Uh, <laughs> with your staff, we've got Russell, our beverage manager. Lucy <laughs> <laughs> now, Wang Wang's just chill. Wang <laughs> Wang, your best friend, apparently. And then at the very end, we have our wonderful sanitation officer. We have so many people on our side uh, to thank as well. And I lost my piece of paper. <laughs> I found it, everybody. Um, <clears throat> there are over 4,000 people on our staff. Um, uh, the, the main Joko Cruise crew, Anna, Stephanie, Tara, and Bob. Thank you, guys. Tech crew, Mark, Chris Bailey, Chris Saul, E. Sarah, Gerardo, Brian, and Dana. Give it up for our amazing tech crew. That's the thing about the Joko cruise. There's a whole other cruise going on that is larger than the main cruise. Uh, and these are the people who put it together. Josh, Wendy, Bill, and Jason. Uh, why don't everybody, everybody come up on stage. All, all staff, come on up on stage. Come on up, come on up, everybody. Do what I say, all y'all, come on up. There's a lot of you, move faster. Uh, I'm just going to keep talking well. you keep walking. Uh, Jen Allison, cardboard card concierges for the, uh, the game library. <laughs> Christy Fellows and Fiona Spineries, the crafting room. <laughs> Michael Frey and everyone on the console gaming team. <laughs> Our ship listener, Colin Adamo. Aaron Zapurley and Dave Slipkin, who are merch and are marketing. Mike Palmer, who does our web development. Kate Cantrell, who does our social media. Steve Pettigill and all of the Shutter Monkeys for documenting this amazing. Liz Connor, who does all of our graphic design and is my wife's sister. Glenn, Ben, and Bill, who are the team behind Twitter. And so many more who work on, on Twitter as well, whose names we should add to this list someday. Yeah, not today though. Danielle Davis <laughs> and her entire Lady Killer team. Paul Sterling and the video team. Mark Maloney is our, our broadcast maven. Brian Altman, they are onboard booking software. Uh, I want to thank Nathaniel and all the consultants and crew. Uh, and Nathaniel also, just a, a shout out for the for the JokoBot team. Nathaniel uh, was conception and design and software behind JokoBot, that amazing thing. Uh, the most amazing uh, example of a, a dumb idea that became a real thing before our eyes. Uh, John Scalzi wrote some of the uh, story story behind that. Um, thank you for that. Uh, Kristen Bonnelly did the fabrication and, and set design. And an amazing um, where are we? There's so many people. Oh yes, Helper Monkeys and New Monkey Ari. Stand up, stand up out there. Greater than games 
for helping us out with logistics. Uh, ben Swallow for uh, uh, taking care of our arcade games. All of our smart sponsors. Uh, we couldn't do this without our charter coordinator, Jan Basson, works for Holland America Lines. Thank you, Jan. I don't know if you saw his, uh, his gorgeous frame at uh, the dress party, but it was something to behold. Uh, uh, Diane and Steve Bloss and Tara Car Carpenter at Worldwide Cruise Associates. Last but not least, our uh, our dear and departed friend uh, Leon Benosian, who uh, who launched us along this crazy path and is uh, uh, is with us every time we do one of these. We, we miss him a lot. Thank you, Leon. And thank you to all of you for being here. It's a great special thing for us. One more, one more hand for the staff. As they're filing off, I just want to, uh, on, on behalf of myself and the Joko Cruz, give a, a special additional thanks to Anna, Steph, and Tara, who are working year round uh, planning this cruise. Uh, Anna, Anna answers every email that we get, um, or not everyone, but quite a lot, quite a lot of them. Um, and Steph painstakingly reviewed the ship's schematics to make sure that our gender-neutral restroom signs were correct. Placed every sign herself. Uh, and Jared, Jared takes care of all of us, so, yeah. <laughs> among other things. So anyway, thank you. Thank you, uh, Anna, Steph, and Tara, especially from, from me and from Joe Um and that finally, truly ends morning announcements, uh, because it's time for a show. I, um, I just want to take this opportunity to say that uh, I deeply love and appreciate every other person on this stage here with me. Uh, it is such a pleasure working with you all and putting this thing together this year. Uh, you know, it, we all knew it, and we're not going to lie. We, we were genuinely concerned at a certain point whether or not this thing was even going to happen. Uh, and luck was with us, and as soon as we stepped on the ship, we realized, oh right, it's these people. <laughs> this is gonna be fine. <laughs> and uh, thank you all for continuing to make this after 10 years uh, just a pleasure to do. It's not a job, it's, it's, it's a Joko cruise. It's five jobs. <laughs> <laughs> um, 